Hi there, Doug Stimmen with IT Creations with a Twin Pro server from Supermicro. I'm talking about the 24 bay Supermicro Super Server 2029 TP-HTR. The system is part of Supermicro's twin server solutions which offer multi-node architecture. This one has four compute nodes, each capable of supporting two of Intel's second generation scalable processors, plus up to four terabytes of memory in each node, all in a 2U enclosure. Let's take a look at the twins, or in this case, the quads. Aside from the names, which I find both confusing and amusing, Supermicro makes some very impressive platforms. There are four product lines in the twin family, starting with the big twin, which is the highest performing 2U system, supporting two or four nodes. Next, the 4U fat twin features advanced twin architecture with four to eight compute nodes. The twin pro, like our Super Server 2029 TP-HTR, offers 1U and 2U twin architecture systems, also featuring two to four nodes. And lastly, the twin, also at 1U and 2U, sports either two or four nodes but just less memory. We've already done one of the fat twins, no pun intended, and you can see that system here. What's our Twin Pro 2029TP-HTR good for? Compute intensive applications, high performance computing, mission critical applications, financial analysis, and a host of other uses in the cloud, a data center, or your very own network. The front of our chassis has 24 2.5 inch hot swap storage base supporting SATA 3 storage devices. There are three other versions of the system, which are differentiated from each other by the node backplane and by the type of drive supported. The other chassis in this family are SAS compatible with a discrete Broadcom controller. The four nodes on this chassis support the compute, memory, and PCI connections. The chassis delivers the power, cooling, and allocates storage to the installed compute modules, with each getting six of the 24 front-mounted drives. Are you interested in the Supermicro Super Server Twin Pro 2029 TP-HTR? If you are, then for a limited time, you can save up to $500 off the purchase price of a system listed on our site at $5,000 or more. This is only available for a limited time. Just click that link to see pricing, and when you're ready to make a purchase, just mention this video. IT Creations carries this server and many others, plus the parts and components to custom configure to your specifications. Not sure what else I can say here. Cut. Many of these systems look very similar, so I will offer this as well. Twin Pro systems like our unit here have 16 DIMM slots per node, which is the same as the 4U Fat Twin. The Big Twin, on the other hand, is the highest performing 2U Twin platform and supports 12 memory module slots per processor for 24 memory module slots total with both processors installed. The Twin supports only eight memory module slots per node. There are two separate control panels in each of the server ears to either side of the chassis, one for each server node. The panel includes power on button, NIC status LED, an information LED for health, plus a UID LED to help identify the server from the back. Six drives are automatically allocated to each compute node and cannot be redistributed. An Intelligent Platform Management Interface, or IPMI, provides access to the ASPEED controller module in each compute node for at chassis and remote monitoring of the system. Furthermore, Supermicro SuperDoctor 5.0 provides more granular information on the server status with a browser-based graphics-heavy interface, suitable for both Windows and Linux operating systems. SuperDoctor 5 Management Server allows you to remotely power on, off, monitor, and reset multiple systems. On the back of the chassis, you'll see the PSUs stacked in the center, which in this case are 220-watt titanium PSUs. To either side are the hot swappable compute nodes, each with two PCI slots available for support of one or two expansion cards. You also get a choice of Supermicro I.O. modules or SIOM modules for network communications. The SIOM module installs on the far left and is comparable to Dell's network daughter card. It offers a simple and flexible way to connect to a network without using your limited PCI slots. At the top of the list is a Mellanox Connect X3 Pro InfiniBand FDR controller offering 56 gigabit ethernet. On the far right, opposite the SIOM module, is the dedicated IPMI LAN port. Beside that is the VGA port and two USB 3.0 ports. If you're ordering either the bare bones configuration or the complete system, it comes with an SIOM module in each node. When we pull out one of the server nodes, you'll see the two sockets for processors, each with four memory module slots to either side for eight per socket and 16 memory module slots total. Memory supported on the system includes registered, load reduced, and Optane memory modules, but only paired with second generation Intel Xeon scalable processors. With all memory module slots loaded with 256 gigabyte memory modules, the system will support up to four terabytes of DDR4 memory. There are several options for symmetric and asymmetric memory configurations using Optane memory modules, which can only be used in conjunction with validated registered or load-reduced memory modules. And here are a few of those configurations. A maximum of two Optane memory modules per CPU are supported 
for up to four terabytes of memory with support from a second generation M suffix processor, which will support up to two terabytes. However, keep in mind the system can be outfitted with the previous generation Intel Xeon scalable processors, which will only support a top capacity of three terabytes with M suffix processors or 1.5 terabytes using standard scalable processors. The 3DS LR DIMM memory speed will also top out at 2666 megatransfer per second using first generation processors. So if you want the full four terabytes and a top memory speed of 2933 megatransfers per second, or if you want to use those Intel Optane data-centric persistent memory modules, which can provide lower latencies and hyperspeed storage capabilities, then go with the second generation processors. As there are no fans inside the server sleds, the air shrouds around the memory modules are very important for keeping the system cool. A PCIe slot adjacent to the memory module slots is where you can add a stacked carrier card to support your OS. And I know what you're thinking, a stacked carrier card? What the hell is that? Dual slot M.2 storage card, which can support either two SATA M.2 or one NVMe plus one SATA drive. Part of what we are also learning today is Supermicro's Superlingo. Moving on, you can install one or two Super DOMs, aka a disk on module, offering the same benefits of SSD storage in a different form factor. Although I should warn you that it's either M.2 or DOM, not both. Of course, with only one processor installed, you can't have either. And if you want to install SAS drives, order one of the other systems in this family, as this is the only one that supports SATA drives natively. With both processors installed, you can install one or two PCIe add-on cards supporting faster network connection speeds. If you need high-performance compute, memory, and storage, the Supermicro Super Server Twin Pro 2029TP-HTR definitely provides the goods. Although it is important to remember how Supermicro has organized their offerings, with families of servers that feature slight changes to storage and networking. Other manufacturers offer the same options, but they are just options, not separate SKUs. If you need IT hardware, give us a call. We can definitely help you navigate Supermicro's Superlingo. IT Creations carries Supermicro and many other manufacturers, and we can custom configure to your specifications. If you have any questions on this or any other server, just post them in the comments section below. Subscribe to IT Creations TV if you want to see more reviews of the latest servers and workstations. We can definitely use more eyeballs. I'm Doug Stuman with IT Creations, and thanks for watching.